Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Wallace Simpson. If you don't know who Wallace Simpson is, she's the last Duchess of Windsor. She is an American woman who married the King of England in 1937. And because of that, he abdicated. He left England, refused to be a king, and passed on the kingdom to his brother, who is the actual queen's father. And because of that, Queen Elizabeth became the Queen of England. Why I'm talking about Wallace Simpson? I just want to explain why she was buried in Frogmore Cottage. She died in April 1986 in France where they had taken refuge after they were shunned by the royal family. So when the King of England at the time decided to leave the kingdom and relinquish his titles to go with the women he loves, he decided that he wanted to live in a country that's close to Britain and they went to Paris because Paris were very welcoming and they had friends there. So they were accepted in French society but they were shunned by the English society. All their friends in England didn't want to be with them, they didn't want to be associated to them. Some friends that he had internationally nationally, especially in France, welcomed them. So they lived there until the death. When Edward VIII died, he was buried in England in the family's royal burial ground, whereas Wally Simpson was buried in Frogmore Cottage. Frogmore Cottage being the little place where Harry and uh, Meghan were housed. So why Frogmore Cottage and not in the royal burial ground? This is because the royal family hated Wallace. They hated Wallace Simpson with no regards to whether she was the wife of the king or whether she was a human being. They didn't like her at all. So to show how they dislike her, instead of giving her the statue that she achieved by marrying a king, they buried her in Frogmore Cottage, which was at the time a little cottage on the grounds of Windsor. And she was buried, I won't say in an unmarked grave, but she was buried there in a garden. It wasn't even a well-tended garden. It wasn't a shallow grave, but it was just a garden. And it's a funny coincidence of fate that Meghan Markle, who is American too, went to live there. And I think that maybe they didn't ask for that cottage. They were given that as a snub by the royal family to tell her that, listen, this is where the last American who married our king was buried with no regards whatsoever. This is where you belong. That's my interpretation of that. But I think that it's very funny that coincidentally, they went to live in Frogmore where Wallace Clemson, who was accused of breaking the royal family, is buried. I think it was a snub to Meghan Markle and maybe in a certain way, so it's sad. It's a very sad story that because somehow you want to marry the person you love, you're rejected by your entire family, your entire kingdom. This is something that we wouldn't think will happen in this day and age where everyone can marry anyone. So we're no longer at the times of arranged marriages, at least in Western countries. But when you see what's happening, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, you just wonder, hmm, people are so against Meghan Markle as if Harry was their son. So even if your son is married to someone you don't like, that doesn't give you the right to prevent him from being happy. So I kind of digressed to uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to show you the connection to Wallace Simpsons. It's a very sad story, but hopefully she will be rehabilitated. Maybe she was just a nice person who wanted to have a better life, who fell in love with a king and he was madly in love with her. And people should be able to live their lives regardless of what other people think. Okay, this is my take on this story about Wallace Simpson. Hope you liked it. Feel free to click on like if so and subscribe for more videos.